packed into a sweaty space, smiling at a stranger waiting eagerly for the bass line to rattle your chest. It's hard to put into words the communal euphoria that clubbing brings, but for some it's more than just a party. Manchester has been at the forefront of important clubbing cultures across the years. It was home to the iconic Hacienda, a club which birthed the Acid House movement and provided a creative hub for clubbers to break free from the outside world through the power of dance. Music brings people together no matter what, even if you've come from different backgrounds and everyone, you know, sort of joined in at the same time. Like I said, everyone was like dead happy and mm. it was a really good vibe. It was just, I know it's dead cliche, but everyone was just loved up and loving everybody. That, that's how it was, wasn't it? The club was a unique space that became known for its revolutionary nights, which people used to meet like-minded individuals outside of a struggling political climate. Well, as DJs, we always wanted to be, um, A, a positive experience, because the world outside, especially at the end of the 1980s, was pretty grim. You know, the city was post-industrial. There was higher youth unemployment than had ever been in the history of, of, of the UK economy. So there were no jobs. Uh, the infrastructure of the city was falling apart. Um, and there wasn't much of a sense of community out there. So our ambition was to create a sense of community inside the club. So anyone who was a bit kind of weird or left field or who dressed a bit differently or who uh, liked music that was a bit uh, a bit way out, they gravitated towards the Hacienda. So it was already attracting artistic people. When you're at school, a bunch of you all like the same kind of music or the same band, you've got something in common despite your backgrounds. You could all be really different people, but you've got that thing in common. Uh, and certainly I think for in clubbing, that's what it can do as well. You can find your tribe. You can find a bunch of people who, even though you might be from all different places, different backgrounds, you've got something in common that you're passionate about. The club closed in 1997, but its legacy still lives on today. Amid the chaos and drug wars that inhabited the walls, it celebrated everything important about clubbing and changed people's lives and tolerance towards each other forever. People well, still want to do it, you know, they don't want to let go because it was such an amazing time. time. Yeah, you don't want to let go of yeah. that really. Just carry on. Just carry on as long carry as you can. On, yeah. As long as my legs will still keep dancing yeah. in the back, don't give it Keep one foot in the rave. That's what I said. Rave that's to that's the grave. Yeah, <laughs>